What's up guys? It's the summer of pizza ovens because we got a lot of pizza ovens to review. This one's no different. This is the Gosney, how do you say this state? Rock box? Rock box? Rock box. We already reviewed the Gosney, what's the big one called? The dome over there. We already reviewed that. That thing is stinking awesome. Time to see if the, the little baby brother is just as cool. Let's open her up. All right, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It helps us out a ton. Hit all the buttons, smash the likes, all that stuff. If you're in the Denver, Colorado area, come to our showroom today. But we wanted to unbox this so we can show you everything it comes with out of the box. First thing you get is a pizza peel. Um, I like their pizza peels. I noticed the other day it's perforated and kind of rigid. I think that, this is my assumption, no one told me this, but these ridges and perforations I think help the pizza sort of glide off easier because that's terrible when your pizza folds in half like a taco and now you have a calzone. What if you're not in the mood for a calzone? That's why that pizza peel is cool. We got a little Gosney bottle opener. That's worth its weight in gold right there. By the way, I got on the Jordan 3s today in my Green Bay Packer colors. Pretty sweet. All right, man, this thing's heavy. It is stout, all right. Okay, so you get this lifting strap. What's sweet about this is they tell you that it also doubles as a back brace. Like if you have some heavy lifting, you can use this as a back brace. I'm just kidding, I made that up. Oh, it's like a silicone, it's like a rubber silicone. Oh yeah, so Tate, what did, what did our, our rep told us about this rubber silicone? This thing's completely sealed. Is there any cracks in the mortar or anything like that? He's like, you'll see legit air bubbles in this. And he's like, that's on purpose. So it keeps it 100% airtight. So if you get a few air bubbles, they go away after you're done cooking. All right, let's flip this bad, bad dog around. So our fuel canister goes in here. Here's what's cool about this is it's dual fuel. We can either do a propane canister right here Come standard, or if, as an accessory, it's not out yet, but they're gonna have a wood burner that goes in there. So your legs are two tiered. Oh, son of a gun. There we go. Nice and tall. All right, so you can see our fuel's gonna hit that, corn, that back wall at a 45, and then we're gonna get a rolling flame up top. Let's check out our pizza peel. That fits pretty good. I bet you it'll hold a 12 inch pie. No problem. Um, as far as accessories, what accessories can you get for this tape? Oh, look at this. This guy's standing on it. Should we try it? Do it. <laughs> I'm pretty heavy. I'm not light. I don't know about that. I don't know if I'd stand on this. Mm -mm. I'm not doing it. I don't trust it. What'd you say? Oh yeah, we got our little uh, Spinner. spinners, you know, to spin your pies. Some other cute, fun accessories, but uh, cover. Yep. Cast iron pans. Yep. Nope. They don't have those. Yeah, they make cast iron stuff. Oh, they do. Okay. All right. So there's really not a ton to review here. We got a little temperature gauge on the side. Um, you guys are going to cook up some pies, aren't you? All right, well, let's get the gas connected and uh, get it cured and then get cooking. So we got, we got our, I uh, almost called this an uni. Whoops. Actually, we'll do a review. We'll put it up against the uni, see what we like better. All right, we got our rock box. Rock box? Rock box. Rock box. Well, let's hook our fuel up. Gas burner user manual, if you know what I do with, first thing I do with user manuals. Get them out of here. Don't need them. Just kidding, they're kind of important. Ugh. All right. Did you get that tape out on a litter? Okay, so look at this. See these, Chris? That's pretty easy. So, facing out this way? Yeah, just like that. Okay. So what we're gonna do is gonna put these in here, like this. They said it should be, no, nope, it's not catching, come on. Oh, there we go. That is easy peasy. Is that in? Yep. Oh, you ain't kidding. Fold my front leg down. Okay. 
All right. Let's send her wide open. And then, okay, so we got a piezo spark igniter. So that's cool. We don't need power. All right, so who is the Rockbox for? Well, here's my take on it before we start cooking. <clears throat> my take is if you want to dabble into the pizza oven category, but you're not really sure if you want to financially make a huge commitment into it, start with something like this because it's portable, it's fun, and uh, you can give it a shot without a huge investment. Then if you absolutely love it, then this can be your portable to go or your camping grill. And then you can upgrade to the dome, which is the bad mama. And uh, she's a bad mama, all right. And uh, it's stinking awesome. So you can sort of, sort of dip your toes in the water with something like this just to see if you like it. So that's kind of who this customer's for. Or if you already have a pizza oven and you just need something more portable for on the go, this would be a good option as well. So it comes, I forgot to mention, it comes in two colors. It comes in green and a gray. I personally like the green. Um, it's a really cool color, I think. I'm, I'm curious to see if uh, the longer this product's out, if they're gonna do more colors as well. I also like that the legs fold. Some, some of the competitors, they don't fold, so they're always taking up a ton of space. Obviously, when this folds up, it's taking up almost no space at all. You can store it away super easy in a camper or even a truck or even a car, really. Compact, you name it, it can fit. All right, we got our pies ready, we got our pizza bar. What do we got here, Tate? We got uh, pep, fresh mozz. Half meat, there's only pepperoni. It's not meat meat if there's only pepperoni on it. There's only one meat. That's all we have, brother. Okay, well, don't call it a meat meat. It's just pepperoni on a mozzarella with basil. This is basically the exact, actually, this is the exact same thing, except this is the ultimate cheese. And then Chris is getting fancy. He's going to go calzone. I'm not sure how that's going to do in the pizza oven, but there's only one way to find out. Let's throw them in there. Let's go. All right, this is Tate's pie. Five sec, five second rule. Get in here, quick. ooh. You made that pie kind of big, Tate. Is it gonna fit? It'll fit. Oh, it fits. Oh, oh. Wow. Oh, she's burning on the back, bro. She burning or sizzling? Sizzling. No, wait, just give her time. It's not, it's not firm. Give her time. Oh, that pepperoni is burning. Look at that, look at that flame on the roof there, bro. Turn it down some. Man, that crust bubbled good though. Oh yeah, she's going with the daddy. All right, so we got it out of here. Look at this pie. Holy cow. That's beautiful right there. Oh yeah. yeah that's that's scalding hot. Why'd you touch it? hard. I want to make sure it wasn't doughy. So this was a little hard to spin because Tate went edge to edge. Was this 12 inch pie? I would guess about 12 inch pie. Yeah. 13. 12 would be the right size. Mm -hmm. So don't make your pie bigger than 12 inches. And look at this. This thing is definitely bubbling and retaining the heat. That's pretty cool. Get in there. Oh. Okay, you know what? That wasn't bad. Well done. But you're going to have to rotate it in a little bit. Here's your spinner. Maybe do like a quarter spin or something. Is that a DiGiorno? All right. All right, guys, so we're wrapping this up. We got our pizzas. They're absolutely delicious. And Chris, you want me to cut in this calzone for you? Yeah. All right, you ready? Oh man, that is juicy. Look at that. Oh, you did jalapenos too, huh? That looks cooked to me, doesn't it? That looks delicious. Oh, it smells good. Cut it into pie. You want me to cut it into pies? Sure. That's how you eat a calzone. That's okay. How do you eat a calzone? Usually I just eat it with a fork, but now I can share. Sorry, bro. Did I screw up your calzone? No. I'm still going to eat it. So that's, that's the situation here is that thing does a great job. It's not that expensive, it's portable, and it made some professional pizza. Stay tuned for more.